you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to learn on how to measure with your meter rule and how to transform or convert from millimeter to centimeter and also to decimeter and how to know how to convert also from millimeter into what into inch now this is my meter rule here right graduated in centimeter and in what in millimeter so i'll use a bigger one see this is starting from zero right i have this also here starting from what from zero so it means that if you look at this the way this looks from zero downward that is what the diagram on the screen looks like so if you are starting from zero one two three four five you are calling out those letters that stands out it means you want to measure in centimeter right so this means zero centimeter one centimeter two centimeter three centimeter four centimeter five centimeter six centimeter and so on and so forth now for instance i'm told to measure 80 centimeter now when i take my meter rule right and i draw a line i'm moving from this point to this point i just draw a line this is a line i'm just drawing this way and i want to measure 80 centimeter on this line what i'll simply do is i'll pick a point that point i'm picking will be my reference point so let me say i am picking this point here and this is my point what point a all right and this point here will be my initial point so if i take my meter rule i'll look for zero on my meter rule and i'll take it to that point right meaning that when i start if i start counting i'll start counting from zero so from zero to eight is eight centimeter right and when i must that will give me my point b and when i multiply that eight centimeter let me take this out because what I need, and when I multiply that eight centimeter by ten, it means I want to convert to what? When I divide that eight centimeter, multiply by ten, it means I want to convert to what? To millimeter. So eight centimeter or eight times ten give us what? Eighty millimeter. Is that okay now? So moving from centimeter to millimeter, you have to what? Multiply by ten. And if you look closely on your meter rule here, you see some small graduation here, right? Those small lines you're seeing are all in millimeter. How do I mean? Zero millimeter, one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter, four millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter, seven millimeter, eight millimeter. 9 millimeter 10 millimeter so 10 millimeter is equivalent to what one centimeter that means if you want to move from millimeter to centimeter you have to what divide by 10 have no that well if you are moving from millimeter to centimeter you what you divide by 10 so they are in ascending order just like you can see on the screen now if i have um five millimeter if i have five um, meter right to move to decimeter then the next one is what i'm having five to move decimeter means i'll multiply by 10. so five meter is equivalent to what 50 decimeter now if i'm to move from decimeter to centimeter i'm going to multiply by 10 again so 50 decimeter is equivalent to what 500 centimeter are you with me now if i move from uh, centimeter to millimeter i also multiply by 10 so 500 centimeter you multiply it by 10 you go back to what uh 5000 millimeter that's okay now so what i'm trying to make you understand is uh five this five meter is equivalent to what 5000 millimeter is that okay now so in between each of them I am having what? I'm multiplying by 10. 
So if you are going upward, so this is in a, an ascending order. So if you are going upward, right, from meter to decimeter, you multiply by 10. From decimeter to centimeter, you multiply by 10. From centimeter to millimeter, multiply by 10. But if you are moving backward, like millimeter back to centimeter, you divide by 10. Is that taking? Then centimeter back to what? Decimeter, you multiply, you divide by 10. Then decimeter back to meter, you divide by 10. So if you are going backward, you what? You divide by 10. And if you are moving upward, you multiply by 10. Now, if you now have two difference, like you are now moving from meter to what? Millimeter, you multiply by what? 1,000. If you are moving from meter to centimeter, you multiply by 100. So the best way you can remember is that what? You see cent. Cent means 1 over 100. We think that saying 10 is power what? Minus 2. Milli means 1 over 1,000. We think that saying 10 is power what? Minus 3. How good now? So that 1 over, that you are dividing by 1,000. So you look at the first letter there. And if you look deci, deci means 1 over 10. We say that saying 10 is power what? Minus 1. How to get that now? So that's what you should use to remember. So we move uh, we move forward. Now in terms of, if I'm to start measurement from any letter here, it means that that letter will be equal to what? Zero. For instance now, if I'm starting from 4, right? Mean that the 4 will be what? Will be zero. So that will be from 4, now that will be zero. Next letter 5 will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So from 4, in between 4 to 12, we have 80 millimeter or 8 centimeter. Is that taken? So this is how you go about. So anywhere you are starting from will be what will be your zero. Let's take a look on inch now and see what will happen. Now you see this, this is how a meter root is. We see a meter root this way. You see centimeter and millimeter will be together, right? Then inch will be separately here. So you see those small lines you see, look on your screen. All the small lines you see for your meter root on the inch scale is in fraction, right? So if you look at the first category here now, in between it, I have 16 lines, 16 lines, right? So it means the first line will be 1 over 16. The second one will be what? 2 over 16. The third one will be what? 3 over 16. 4 over 16. 5 over 16. Down to 1 inch, which is 16 over 16. I will tell you that. So in between... 0 and 1 inch, the middle one is what? That is half of an inch. That is 1 over 2, and it makes sense because that half there is 8 over 16, and 8 over 16 is 1 all over 2, because 8 in here, 8 will go in 16 two times, remaining 1 here, so 1 over 2. So that is half an inch. Then in between 0 and half an inch, we have 1, that is 1 quarter, 1 over 4. Is that taking the and in between 0 and 1 over 4, we're having what? 1 all over what? 1 over 8 over inch. Is that taken now? And we should know very well that 1 inch is equivalent, I mean, um, 1 inch is equivalent to what? 25 point what? 4 um, millimeter. If you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video thanks for watching